All right, guys, Chris with UBT here again. Next up is the brand new H20T payload. This is part of the H20 series. Uh, it's being released at the same time as the Matrice 300. It is only compatible with the M300 RTK. So you have your pretty standard DJI hard case for your payload, similar to the X-T2 or the Z30. It is a little bit of a different uh, clamping mechanism there, but we'll crack that open. Here she is right here. We are in a pre-launch stage right now. So uh, for us, all that was included in here was just the camera. You might have some other, other accessories in there. These look like might be like lens covers or something in there. I'm not sure, but this is all that came with ours, including the SD card. So we'll get that case out of the way. So there she is in all her glory. Uh, one neat thing about the H20T, and I'm assuming the H20, we don't have one yet, but I'm assuming it will come with a lens cover just like this. A uh, nice change, a needed change from the X-T2 days where it just lived naked like that, which is no good for anybody. Um, so this is what DJI calls a hybrid sensor. Not dual sensor, not single sensor. It is a hybrid sensor because it does have a zoom RGB camera. It has a non-zoom wide lens RGB or visual spectrum camera, and it has thermal. On top of those three, it has a laser rangefinder, which is behind this window right here. So this zoom camera is a 23X hybrid zoom camera, slightly less than the Z30, but it is combined with a wide lens RGB visual camera there. Fixed lens, it's kind of, it's very similar to like an FPV camera that you'd find built into like a Matrice 200 or 210 or the Matrice 300 RTK. So it gives you a nice wide view. You can always go to that camera and see a nice wide view of your scene. The thermal camera on this H20T, T meaning thermal, is a 640 by 512 thermal camera and it is radiometric and it's 30 hertz. The lens of this thermal camera is 13.5 millimeter. As of right now, the H20T only comes with that 13.5 millimeter uh, lens on there. It's not like the X-T or the X-T2 where you could have the 9, 13, 19, 25. This is a 13.5 millimeter thermal lens. It is IP44 rated. The aircraft itself is IP45. Our assumption is that because of the open ventilation here, you can actually kind of see a fan in there, uh, that they just weren't able to make that IP45, but IP44 is same as the X-T2, so you're gonna be uh, well protected no matter what the environment is. On the back, you have a heat sink here along with your SD card, single SD card, unlike the X-T2. Uh, and then when you open that up, it's much easier to open, I think, than like the Z30, for example, so it's really, really accessible. Um, and then just these massive, it's hard to see, but these massive gimbal arms, it's, I'm just, I'm a nerd, but man, that's really impressive. And then you can see around the back here, a nice foam seal. I'm assuming it's uh, maybe you know, space foam or something crazy, I don't know, but a good foam seal there, more ventilation on the sides. As far as the actual interface to the camera, to the uh, aircraft, I should say, your typical uh, X-T2 port, sky port, whatever you want to call it, but the same connector and then your same gimbal protector as well. So same interface that we're all used to all in one package. So this is the hybrid sensor H20T from DJI. It is only compatible with the M300 RTK. It does have the three lenses on there, which we'll be posting some actual raw media of uh, straight off the SD card here really soon. Thanks for coming by. Catch you next time.